You just got a new sound system and you have a question. Do I need to break in my subwoofers? There's a lot of debate on this subject. Some people say do, some people say don't. Uh, similarly, there's debate on the subject of do I need to break in an engine? Some people say you need to be gentle with it initially. Some people say no, you don't. I'm of the school that no, you don't. And um, ultimately, the reason is that your woofer is going to break in anyway. Whether it happens in the first uh, 30 minutes or the first 30 days isn't really going to make a huge difference to its uh, ultimate state. Um, if you are going to um, be gentle and conservative with it throughout its life, it's not going to break in as far as if you're going to flog it throughout its life. And its life expectancy will be shorter if you're going to flog it throughout its life. But ultimately, the break-in time period isn't really going to make a huge amount of difference. Things that you do want to be aware of, whether it be initially when you first get it or even further down the road is, um, potentially maybe one of the reasons why people uh, consider the break-in process uh, as necessary is that um, when you first power uh, a woofer, um, it's still got some curing to do. The adhesives do have some curing to do. So the one thing that um, is different with uh, a woofer and an engine is that um, when you start adding heat to the, uh, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the voice coil in a woofer, it's going to finalize that sort of baking process of the adhesives that, that stick the whole thing together. And you don't want to do that it a huge hit all at once. It doesn't take that long, but what you don't want to do is just go from uh, start up to full throttle. Now, break in versus warm up is a different sort of discussion. Um, when you're, if you're going to do a, a an engine break in, you start the engine, you warm it up, then you can, you know, full throttle it. When it's cold the tolerances are not where they could be. If you think about it from a point of view of the most extreme technologies, you can't start a Formula One engine when it's cold. They literally have to put it on, you know, heaters and, and warm the, the, the metal up so that it has enough clearance to actually turn over. Um, and with any engine, when you break it in, you don't want to just go start full throttle. Uh, you want it to come up to temperature so that things stabilize. Similarly with a woofer, um, when you first get it, when it's brand new or when it's, you know, six months, six years old, uh, you don't want to go from cold to full power. That's, again, that's not a break-in thing. It's just the thermal shock. The, the, the pieces need to be able to expand and contract. They don't all do that at the same rate. Um, aluminum, steel, uh, adhesives, copper, they don't all expand and contract at the same rate. And the more rapidly you introduce that change, the more chance there is for there to be a problem, uh, to create a problem with them expanding at, at different rates. If you bring them up to temperature a little bit more slowly, they will, they will be able to uh, integrate those shifts uh, over time more easily and less likely to cause damage. So break in, no, warm up, yes. Um, ultimately, that's the recommendation.